pilot training is important because as the child is growing we are uh, trying to make him learn everything in life we are waiting for the child to walk we are waiting for the child to sit we are waiting for the child to communicate with us similar is we should uh, not we should be waiting for the child to get toilet trained it is important for parents it is important for child's own self also because sometimes we uh, are not able to do it properly and the time goes because if parents are busy if parents are working they may just think that child might learn it on its own sometimes that doesn't happen and once the time is gone it becomes difficult for the child to learn these few, few things which he could have learned at the certain age i think it was seen that 2 to 3 years is the time when we should start training our children for toilet training we should uh, not delay it further to 3 years we should not start it very early also apart from that we should also see because it depends from child to child we should also see whether the child is ready to get trained because sometimes parents would just start at 18 months which is again not correct if the child is ready if the child is acceptable for the training thing we should definitely do it but the ideal age is between 2 to 3 years i think before uh, making the child do th few things parents should be themselves prepared to train the child that is the first and most important thing apart from that we child as i told before should be acceptable should be communicating well should be able to tell about it and uh, third is don't force the child to sit for potty training let the child uh, learn it with play so bring a proper sized potty seat for the child at home and let the child try to sit uh, on it at various times and first start with the sitting pattern because many a times nowadays with the diapers uh, being there children are just doing it in diapers and they are not made to sit at all so that can be done even before the child should have a habit of sitting on the potty seat and doing it if you have not bought it before and you want a child to sit on a bigger seat there are attachments available uh, feet of child should be touching the ground so if there's a small size seat they can sit on that if it's a bigger height and the child's height is less so you can keep a stool below that so that he's comfortably sitting on the seat for potty training so fix a time for that and daily uh, try to uh, make the child sit on that potty seat for few seconds and few minutes then so that time is fixed and slowly child is able to do uh, potty at that fixed time when we are training our children make don't force them for sitting uh, make it a play kind of thing they can do it with a role play kind of thing that a doll is sitting and doing the potty so kids uh, the they may they may see that okay i also have to sit and diet should be good most of them are uh, many times they are on milk feeds so they should be taking good diet with lot of fruits and vegetables and uh, salads are being taken and lot of water they are drinking so that the stool remains soft and easy to pass because if those things are not catered the toilet training becomes difficult they may not do it and they may just resist doing it so those are the important points and um, a, don't delay it beyond 3 years because later on again it becomes difficult for children to get acclimatized or to do it uh, properly mm -hmm.